Hello, good morning everyone. This is Daily Inspiration, and it's time again to uh, inspire you with the Word of God. And this is a great day because this is the Lord's Day. And this morning I just want to share with you about the foundation. In Matthew chapter 7 verse 24 to 27 it says here, In verse 24, anyone who listens to my teaching and follows it is wise like a person who builds a house on the solid rock. Verse 25, Though the rain comes in torrents and the flood waters rise and the winds beat against the house, it won't collapse because it is built on the bedrock. Verse 26, But anyone who hears my teaching and doesn't obey it is foolish, but a person who builds a house on the sand. Like a person who builds a house on the sand. Verse 27, when the rain and floods came and the wind beat beats against that house, it will collapse with mighty crash. And the foundation in this parable is obedience in the God's word. So the two men in the story had much in common. Both had desires to build a house. Both built houses that look good. But when the judgment came, or cotton-caught storm, one of the houses collapsed. So what was the difference? Not the mere external looks, it was the foundation. The successful builder dug deep. In Luke chapter 6, verse 48, it is like a person, who build, a person building a house who digs deep and lays the foundation on solid rock. So what does the Lord mean by this parable? So the Lord Jesus is saying that every person builds his life here on earth. The house here represents your life. As long as we are alive here on earth, we are building our lives. It is very important where you build your life. Jesus says there can only be two foundations in building your life on earth. Either you will build on a rock or you build on the sand. Let's uh, take a look in the sand foundation as a sound foundation. Sand foundation. So what is the meaning of the sand? It would represent anything that is changeable or that can be changed. So the Lord Jesus is saying, if you build your life on anything that is changeable, then you are a foolish man. Why? Because Jesus said that there will be wind, rain, and flood. And these are the problems, or these are problems that will come upon us. So if the foundation of your life is changeable, like sand, then, when problems like wind, rain, flood come upon you and your life will fall or tumble down. So many people are building their lives on like uh, business, power, like political or military power, money, beauty, physical strength, and anything. So all these things will change people who relied on this changeable foundation, will come tumbling down. And let's go to this rock as the foundation. Can you think of anything here on earth that will never change? Everything here on earth is subject to change. Therefore, our foundation cannot be anything here on earth. The Lord Jesus is saying that we must build our foundation on the rock that will never change. And what is that rock? It is the Lord Jesus himself. He's saying, you must build your life on me, the rock. So when you do that, whatever problems may come upon you, you will never be affected. Your life will continue to stand strong on the eternal, immovable rock that is the Lord Jesus Christ. So what are the winds, the rain, and the floods? In verse 25, And 27. So we noticed that both houses experienced the winds 
the rain and the floods. So what are these? These are the trials, the testings, and the sufferings in our lives that are sure to come. In Hebrews chapter 12, verse 25 to 27, in verse 25, be careful that you do not refuse to listen to the one who is speaking. For if the people of Israel did not escape when they refused to listen to Moses, the earthly messenger, we will certainly not escape if we reject the one who speaks to us from heaven. Verse 26. So when God spoke from Mount Sinai, his voice shook the earth. But now, he makes another promise. Once again, I will shake not only the earth, but the heavens also. Verse 27, this means that all of creation will be shaken and removed so that only unshakable things will remain. So after a storm or an earthquake, does your faith in God still remain? So how to build on the rock? In Matthew chapter 7, verse 24, Jesus says, Therefore, whoever hears the, these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who builds his house on the rock. So number one is that hearing the words of Jesus, so simple, but very important. Why? Because there are Christians who are first doing this before they hear. And the second thing is the be doers of the word. In Matthew chapter 7, verse 26. So everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them, he's like a foolish man who builds his house on the sand. So it is very important that after you hear, you must obey. So if you do not obey and just hear and hear and hear, then you are also being foolish. James chapter 1, verse 22, Be doers of the word, not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. So hearing his word without obeying is foolishness. So how to know you are building your lives on Jesus? Just for example, some people are saying, I am already Christian. I read the Bible every day. I pray every day. Therefore, I am building my life on Jesus. It is possible that one is already Christian, loving the Lord and wanting to obey Him. But if there is anything in our lives that we cannot surrender to Jesus, then that thing becomes a foundation of sand for us. My dear friends, may your life be founded in the rock which is the Lord Jesus Christ. And this is the message for us today, a foundation. So where do you build your life here on earth? I hope that your foundation is in the rock, which is the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for listening and happy Sunday. And God protect you all and bless you. This is Daily Inspiration.